Uh, thank you so much, uh, Honorable Speaker. Thank you for giving me this chance uh, to speak to the matter on the floor of the House. I have not been able to speak uh, this uh, uh, 13th Parliament since I got back. And that calls for me to first congratulate you on your being uh, elected the Speaker of National Assembly. Congratulations, Papa. And together with your ABO team, together with the, the Honorable uh, Gladys uh, Boss, and all the team, we have also a new clerk, and I think uh, Bunge is headed in the right direction. And I also want to thank uh, the people of Rangwe, Honorable Speaker. Rangwe is a great constituency that took the pains of electing uh, a woman in 2017. But as if that is not enough, they broke the history of not having members uh, go for second straight terms by re-electing me again to parliament. I want to thank uh, the great people of Rangwe constituency and make a very good promise that on the platform that I was elected on, on good performance and working for the people, I'm going to put a lot of effort to work for the great people of Rangwe constituency uh, in a better manner and uh, give uh, better services uh, uh, in this uh, second term. Honorable Speaker, on the matter that is on the floor of the House that uh, expects to uh, make uh, amendments to the Constitution, and where it touches on the N uh, NGCDF, uh, many, of, uh, many of my colleagues have spoken to this, but I must add uh, my voice to it because CDF is a single most fund, Honorable Speaker, that can be touched and felt by Wanainchi at the ground. CDF, Honorable Speaker, is a fund that works beyond borders, beyond boundaries. And it was even improved to the extent that there is equity in its distribution. Constituencies that have bigger wards, are, that are bigger with more wards, are expected to get slightly more than smaller constituencies. But allow me to speak, uh, Honorable Speaker, to what I have seen CDF do in Rangwe constituency. CDF is one single most fund that elevates uh, infrastructure, education infrastructure in our schools, and it is also structured to help with security matters. We have used CDF, Honorable Speaker, in a single most term to buy 14 school buses, buses that could not have been able to be bought by, uh, uh, by, by schools that are uh, attended by poor pupils whose parents do menial jobs in the, in the, in the sub-county. CDF, Honorable Speaker, is well structured in its nature to the extent that the, the, the MP literally has no role and only does oversight, which, which is the main component of um, the work of a member of parliament. So if CDF works well, Honorable Speaker, then it means that members of parliament are doing a good job in their oversight work. So I want to uh, uh, support this, Honorable Speaker, and I want to say that we even need to increase it. We need to increase the figures, Honorable Speaker, because there is so much and uh, the fund is limited. We have so many uh, uh, things that happen through CDF in the maintenance of roads that go to our schools, in the construction of classrooms, laboratories, in the construction of dormitories. And when these things happen and the members of the public, Honorable Speaker, see the changes that can be done through CDF and also in building leaders. And they can compare how a leader who was there at their tenure and a, a consequent leader, how they have worked. It is a very good way, CDF and its oversighting by members of parliament, is a very, very good way also of gauging the work of members of parliament. We need to empower our people, Honorable Speaker. Honorable Speaker, when CDF and these other funds, we have the National Government Affirm Affirmative Action Fund, and then we also have other funds that come directly from national government to the grassroots. Honorable Speaker, this is one way that, that makes the government, other than the devolved functions, makes the government reach its people directly. So CDF should be enhanced, Honorable Speaker, as part of my contribution. Honorable Speaker, we need even to have a higher value that, is, uh, that should be allocated for the bursary systems. Many of our poor families, many of our poor children who are not able to raise school fees, who are not able to fund their education, get funded through 
the bursaries that we get from CDF Honorable Speaker. So I rise to support and I say that it is important that the government takes enough effort to support this matter so that we constitutionalize CDF so that people stop meddling thinking that CDF gives uh, MPs weight. Members of parliament, members of national assembly have literally nothing to do with CDF. They just do their oversight role. There are structures that are there to govern and to manage this fund. And the fund has been used effectively. For the first time, Honorable Speaker, in the history of Rangwe constituency, we are able to have a sub-county headquarters that is modern, uh, it is under construction, it is an ongoing work. And if it were not for availability of this CDF, then you would not know that you have reached Rangwe. But Honorable Speaker, in the next three months or so, we should have been able to finish a multi-million project through uh, CDF. And that notwithstanding, we also do security lighting. We improved our communities. For any place where there is a government institution or otherwise, we have what we call corporate social responsibility. If there is a school, other than providing education or honorable speaker, a school should be able to help the community. And with the buses that we bought in Rangwe constituency, these buses, when they are given out, if they are not given for functions for school, the local community are able to use them, sir, at a very minimal uh, subsistence just to fuel the buses so that they feel the benefit of having those schools around them. So I support the matter, and I congratulate you and your team, and I hope that this uh, passes so that people stop interfering with CDF. I thank you, Honorable Speaker. The Honorable Member for Starehe. Uh, thank you, Mr. Speaker, sir, for giving me this opportunity.